All right, what's up, everybody? <laughs> hey, how is it going? I'm back, finally. Oh, yeah, did you miss me? I missed me. I missed this. Oh, God, it's horrible. Yeah, I'm sorry for being gone the past two days. I uh, went to start up my computer. Uh, uh, what would it have been? When? Uh, Tuesday. <clears throat> powered on and immediately powered off. And it showed that there was power. Powered it on. Immediately powered off. Until the point where it wouldn't turn on at all. Then I'd walk away, come back five minutes later, it'd power on for a second, turn off, and I was like, okay. So I looked up online, yep, power supply. So instead of being smart and just going to Best Buy the next day to buy one, oh no, I got pissed and wasn't thinking clearly and went on Amazon and ordered one because I was kind of panicked and I was kind of mad. And so I was like, oh man, I got to get this here, I got to get this here. And of course, they did deliver it the next day, but not until about quarter to nine my time and there's no way i can take an old uh <laughs> an old day uh, an old power supply out and a new one in in 15 minutes i'm good i'm not that good uh but uh needless to say though um you know got it put in yesterday you know or not yesterday but today and you know just took my time with it and then i got that all set up and then uh yeah me and my wife are sitting down here watching tv and all of a sudden we hear this big boom outside our house and yeah some dude was running from the cops came down our street lost control of his car hit our neighbor's house yeah it's been a banner week <laughs> it's been very exciting but are even you still though... in amazon mode <laughs> yes i'm still in amazon mode buy me something bitch uh so yeah, so needless to say, even though there is... Oh, thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. Slash so streams live. You are freaking awesome. So even though there is a car pretty much blocking my driveway and it's kind of in the house next door, TV I'm still going to stream for you guys. <laughs> Welcome to Harmac One. <laughs> That's how it's going to work. Hello, Harmac. How's your yodel? My yodel? Well, it's... Going yodel hee hoo. Yeah, that's what she says. That's what she says. All right. Well, I think we're. I think we can beat this game tonight. I mean, we're already nine hours in. I know it's not a super long game. Um, obviously, I'm sure the last battles are going to piss me off if they're anything like um, MGS2. So let's say we get started, shall we? LOL. <laughs> Slash streams live. So here we go. Welcome to Harmac One. <laughs> hey, a Harmac, how is your Prius? My Prius been sold five years ago. <laughs> so I don't know. You have to ask the person that bought it from me. All right. Uh, okay, complete. Uh, sure. Let's refresh. Thing is, it's been a couple days. All right. We're heading to input the third PAL code to stop the launch of the new type of nuclear warhead. Snake receives a call from Naomi, who has been arrested as a spy. Naomi confesses that she is in the, a sister of the sister of Gray Fox, and that she so betrayed small, Snake tiny, as and revenge. A quiet <laughs> well, I always me, wanted a Prius. Well, they're a good car as long as there's not a lot of snow. Other than that, they're great. If there's snow, though, forget it. I ended up replacing the plastic underbody of it twice. Because the snow just ripped it apart. Um, and that she betrayed Snake as a revenge. And Oh, yeah, and just, just so you know, so small, tiny, and a quiet moaner. Yeah, that's why I can get away with doing stuff in your house, bitch. Anyway, uh, <laughs> since she betrayed Snake as revenge, since Snake caused her, uh, <laughs> caused her brother to be what he OMN is now. OMN 1 slash. <laughs> we Welcome will. to Harmac 1. When, uh, when Slow chemicalx. Welcome to Harmac One. And Harmac always wanted a penis. <laughs> Harmac traded his Prius for a gas hog. LOL. <laughs> this gas hog ain't got stuck this year with our fucking twelve inches of snow we've had. Uh, the subject from Hox, which uh, Fox Dive again used. Uh, the transmission was cut off. Campbell orders. Harmac a traded his penis for a Prius. Snake to head to the control room. What? <laughs> no, I didn't. See, um, guys don't normally drive Priuses, which means they have nothing to hide. Just saying. All right. Uh, so. Let's see if I can figure out what the hell I'm doing here. All right. I take it we got to... 
We gotta run, man. We gotta run here. Ah, right, get through the door. There you go. And then here. My lease is almost up. I need to figure out what I'm going to get. Harmack, please bring me some Chicago pizza when you come up tomorrow. Okay, thanks. You want, you want Chicago pizza, eh? He misses his toy car. I really don't, I actually. never had Chicago pizza. Eh, it's pretty good, actually. I'm not going to lie to you. Well, this should wake evil from the dead again. <laughs> TPP, get a Maserati. Maserati. He always seems to come around when he hears and smells pizza conversations. <laughs> NYC hey. pizza is the best. He's, nah, I don't know about that. That that's that's up for debate, I would say. NYC style pizza is best. At Del Griffith, I need an SUV. With the winners that you get, yeah, cars probably suck there, man, without a doubt. He needs a mom minivan. <laughs> a mama van. <laughs> <laughs> Get up there. Get up the ladder. Get up the ladder. Stop punching the ladder and get up the ladder. <laughs> Idiot. This guy. Get the new Bronco. LOL. <laughs> the new Bronco. Make sure it's white and you'll be going down the freeway at 45 miles an hour with cops chasing you. Yeah. Make sure you do that. I mean, how the hell else is he gonna cart those strippers around when COVID ends? <laughs> you gotta a put mommy a... mobile LOL. You gotta put a banging sound system in it. It's like, hey, here goes TP. <laughs> oh, shit, no. I forgot. Well, let it kill me. There's, I don't think there's a way out. So come. Oh, look, Harmack farted. <laughs> he killed a man in a room. Harmack, the MRS Bronco looks sweet. The new Bronco. <laughs> I figured I'd blow myself up. <laughs> Damn you all for not taking those clips. I now have to come through this stream and get them. It's in the beginning of the stream. Relax. John Damn at Slash Streams Live. There were two or three LOL moments. I killed Eric with a plane by accident. You killed him with a plane? Oops, I didn't see that part. Damn. Pal code number three, confirm. We're here to watch Harmac die. Code entry. A lot. Oh yeah, it'll happen too. Detonation code activated. And this is on easy. What? Wait, it got activated? I thought... What? Peter I Gabriel is a real pervert. Hashtag he didn't get it. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is complete. Peter Gabriel and LOV Eric, the ultimate tag now. team. Master, what's going on? You found the key. In and even eyes. activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you LOL, in that Peter Gabriel. Why? memory alloy business. What are you talking about? 
We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot I take it you didn't catch that part. killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake, so I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the encounter, thanks to Fox Dot. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? I think Where I did. You? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice Scales but to 175. surrender the Fox Dye vaccine. Welcome to Harmac One. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole. The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Oh, uh, shit. Poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, <laughs> Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been huh. dead for at least three days. Dude, we've been talking to a I didn't dead know guy. because my codec link with Master was cut off. Harmat, have you had Detroit style pizza? Was coming from inside no. The base. I didn't so even know there's such a thing. I guess every place snake. has their own type of pizza, though. You've been talking but no, I haven't. Me, dear brother. Oh, was you the whole time, dude? Liquid. How the... You've served your what the? What the? You what the? You die now. <laughs> Welcome to die. They played us like a damn fiddle. <laughs> oh god, hang on a second. Oh god, we need to gas mask, gas mask. Where are you? There we go. Put the gas mask on. Now we need to probably call. Yeah, let's let's call. Uh, Otacon. He's got he, Mr. Hacker himself. Come on, buddy, come through for well, let's see what does Campbell say. I'm assuming it's out of time. Gas! Do something! Do me! Paul Emmerich. He's I figured. to break through security. Thank you. I wasn't sure, but Campbell, you helped me out there. Even though you've been kind of a dick lately. Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. Uh. I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. Yay! <sighs> okay. Oh, you son of a bitch, come back here. Me and you got some things to talk about. You went this way. I know you did. Liquid! Liquid! Did you like my sunglasses? <laughs> That's an awesome line. You point a weapon. Harmat, <laughs> have you ever had W25 style pizza slash? So I could manipulate you more easily. And you perform no. quite well, I must I don't know say. what that is. Although the West 25th pizza style pizza? No. Same thing. What the hell I've only had really about? Chicago style Falling guys and whatever's in Cleveland. No asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a pawn snake. What? I'm a pawn snaker? <laughs> Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages. It was all just a diversion. A diversion? 
The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Die. Fox Die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. Oh, great. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes Car she Mac, made to Fox Dye's have you ever program. farted in the supermarket? Oh, As well, you are going matter. up and down I've the aisles. Added the Fox yes, I have. I have Snake to admit. Snake using his Batman lines. voice. There's a vaccine. There yeah. <laughs> I am Batman. The only one who reads. Yes, I have. I have been known to carpet bomb a couple grocery stores. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Why is that? Especially in the egg aisle. <laughs> in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the arms tech president and decoy octopus were killed by fox die. Dude, you but stink. Oslot, myself, and you, I know. The carrier, were apparently it's a curse. Unaffected. LOL. A bug in the virus's programming. Hmm. Could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But dun, we're not dun, dun. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. <laughs> You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. I got the flawed recessive genes. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The and I was because I am I snake. Is so they could you smell like rotten hamburger. You. I was the favorite, huh? I don't That's know. Right. I'm Say more I'm like rotten eggs, but of what they used to make you or Can you stanky sulfur. What it's like to know that you're like that. garbage since the day you were born. But I'm the one father chose. So that's oh, I'm the so one father chose. Some warp kind of love. Love? It's hate. He always told me I was inferior, and now I'll have my revenge. You should understand me. Brother. You're also a piece of you uncooked Harma Burger on an untoasted bun. Harma bun. Harma bun. Trademark pending. Now I'll finish the work that father began. It's called I a Harma Burger. Him. I will destroy him. You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you. Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. Yeah. Yeah. Did he just yeah? <laughs> your blood will be the first to be spilled by this glorious new weapon. Ah oh, crap. Consider it an honor, a gift from your brother. Now first I'll show you the power of the weapon that will lead us in the 21st century. Ah, uh, first it was Ray, now I gotta fight Rex. Enjoy. My old mailman breath smelled like he drank a glass of boiled garlic water and it? chewed on a pair of Mia Jacks used underwear. Oh, oh that's that's every type of gross. <laughs> Mia Jacks was offered a freebie day for her home. <laughs> So gross. I'm 100% serious. <laughs> wow, really? A bidet manufacturer tweeted he watched Raw and felt bad for her. <laughs> and she her can't, pole. She can't reach to wipe. Shit, we gotta hang on. 
I'm gonna talk to Otacon. Snake, Rex's armor is impregnable. You can't do you do even know about the, the Nia Jax thing? Rex uses the latest no. Device. LOL, she landed right on her track. The only is with a high-performance heat round. So what do I do? Rex's pilot seat operates exactly like a VR system. It's got multiple sensors connected to a high-tech interface used for the controls. It's completely self-enclosed and shut off from the outside environment. He's not using his naked eyes? That's right. So if you could Community somehow showcase. destroy the sensors... Do you see Welcome that to Harmac on one. Rex's left arm? Yeah. That thing hey, it's Community like Showcase. That's a ray dome. If you can destroy that thing, it won't be able to use its electronic LOL, equipment. she tried so to dive on Lana yeah, on Monday night, missed and landed us first. So that will stop it? They no. needed her, Rex but she screamed oh my hole. Oh, great. It immediately like trended on Twitter. Wow. In an emergency, it'll open up. That's not embarrassing at all. You can't destroy it. He's basically Don't saying, I know you have trouble wiping your ass because you can't really reach it. Jesus. First, I destroy the ray dome. That will force him to open up the pilot's seat. Right. If you can shoot a stinger missile into the cockpit, you'll destroy the computer control system. You would LOL, no, what are you talking point? about? It's not a weak point. I thought I the like whole meaning or butthole. You said a bidet guy. He called. offered her a bidet because he thought it was hurting what LOL. I guess yeah, because she's having trouble wiping it, so it's dirty. That'd be my guess. Oh my God! Oh well, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to listen I to this. Up. I'm trying to listen to this and you at the same time, dude. It's really difficult. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, I keep... Damn. Why didn't it pick it? Come on. Holy shit. Oi. Okay, this is not going to be easy. Hey, thanks for the raid. Oh, thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate that, guys. How nice of you. Alright. Oh. Let's skip that. Alright. Exotic right. Demon underscore. Welcome to Harmap One. Remember me, Edgar. <laughs> NP. Long time no see. Long time no see, man. Welcome back. Damn it, I keep picking the wrong one. Are you kidding? Ah. Ah, where's the stinger? Where you at?
Come on, hit it. Shit, I can't hit it from there. Come on, bitch. Another stinger and keep this guy blind if I can. Or not stinger, uh, chaff. Come on. You can't see me. That's awesome. I like that. Come on, hit it. Got his ass. Whew. Oh shit, I forgot I still gotta hit the cockpit, don't I? No, it didn't do it. This is this is a Kojima game. Ain't the this ain't the last boss. Not yet. Yes. Nice try, Snake. What's up, Scales? How you doing, buddy? Hurry! Get away! Gray Fox, the name from long ago. It sounds better than Deep Throat. Anything so sounds better than Deep Throat. Shit. Fox, why? What do you want from me? I am a prisoner of death. Only you can free me. Fox, stay out. Why does he sound like uh, She's Master Splinter? <laughs> Naomi, you're the only one who can stop her. No, I can't. Why? Because I'm the one who killed her parents. You are good turtles. I was young then and couldn't bring myself to kill her too. I felt so bad that I decided to take her with me. I raised her sure. and she was my own blood to soothe my guilty conscience. Even guilty. now she thinks of me as her brother. But from the outside, we might have seemed like a happy brother and sister. But every time I looked at her, I saw her parents' eyes staring back at me. Tell her for me. Tell her that LOL, I was Harmat. the one who did it. It does, doesn't it? You are good turtles. Here's a final present from Deep Road. I'll stop it from moving. I love you all, my sons. <laughs> I love you all, my sons. Now do it for Master Splinter, Deep Throat. Oh, bye bye arm. Son of a bitch, you know that hurt. Oh. In the Middle East, we don't hunt foxes, we hunt jackals. Instead of fox sounds, we use royal harriers. Fox. How strong is that exoskeleton of yours? Snake, are you just going to sit by and watch him 
Holy shit. You are indeed worthy of the code name Fox, but now you're finished! Uh, no! Fire the stinger! Fox! Can you really shoot? You'll kill him too! Oh, no. I'm good. In front of you! It's no I good. Can, I, I can't do it. it. After Zanzibar! No, I, I can't do it. it from the battle. He can't do it. He won't shoot. He can't do it. Splinter likes to deep throat. And is that right? I was good at. <laughs> but at least I always fought for what I believed in. Snake. Farewell. Goodbye, my sons. Oof, like a bug. Welcome to Harmath One. He prayed for death, and it found him. You see, you can't protect anyone, not even yourself. Die! Ah, oh, crap. Oh, damn, that gave me, like, no time. Okay, let's see if the same thing will work again. I doubt it, but... Come on. Bullshit, man. How does that work? That is really hard to do. Snake. Oh, are you kidding? We gotta start this fight all over again. Oh, man. Alright, that's just mean. That's mean on every level, man. I hate it when it does that. That 
That's unbelievable, man. Those things just hit so... Get up, dude. And he faces the wrong way. I thought I threw one. What the hell? Okay, we did that. Go us and stuff. Alright, let's skip this. We've seen it. Now, in front of you, I can finally die. After Zanzibar, I was taken from no, the battle. I can't do it. Neither oh, truly just alive, nor truly dead. And Damn, we can't skip this. We gotta listen to it. We'll be hearing this a couple times, just so you know. Soon, soon it will finally end. You stun. <laughs> you stun? A stun grenade? Really? Okay, I'll give it a shot. Why not? I thought maybe chaff might work, but you're probably right. Thanks for the tip. For what I believed in. Snake. Farewell. Both. Chaff and stun grenade? I'm not sure what you mean, but I'll give it a try. Like, what do I throw first, stun or chaff? That's the thing. I'm not sure. He prayed for death, and it found him. You see, you can't protect anyone, not even yourself. Die! Stun. Go stun first, okay. All right, I'll try it. Then hide. That's not working. The stun grenades really aren't working. Nope. That that just that the stun grenades just do not work. At least not the way you're telling me to. There's nowhere to really hide there. You're basically kind of out in the open no matter what. Oh, the hell with this. Alright. Let's get the chaff grenade ready. They didn't, because I died. It definitely didn't work. Come on.
You know, I'm getting better at that part at but least. But he got hit with the missiles. Yeah, because he can see me. I can't outrun the missiles. Did that do it? That's why I was using the chaff grenades because it kind of screws up his missile aim. Now. Oh God! <laughs> I want to skip I this so part. Can't do it. After that. Can't do what? Yay, okay. Try a stun. Come on! Okay, I figured, what the hell? It's just gonna come down to a one-on-one -on -one fight. The hell with it! <laughs> that really was that was really stupid. But I just I I, I didn't want to watch that damn cutscene again. Kind of funny, that's the way this thing looked when uh, we saw it in MGS4. Shit. Ow. <laughs> Third time's the charm. <laughs> I got a trophy for taking me three times to do it. <laughs> nice. God damn, he's still alive. Yes. Sleeping like as usual. A snake. Liquid. You're still alive. I won't die. As long as you still live. Too bad. I call it looks bullshit. like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I am done fighting. Oh, fighting. shit. What are you really after? 
A world where warriors like us are honored as we once were. As we should be. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. <sighs> when he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things... Oh, are different now. They're With never different. The lives and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. Sure it is. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. <laughs> a world that now spurns our very existence. You should Spurs. know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring <laughs> One chaos billion and dollar. honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict will breed conflict. New hatred will arise. Then we'll steadily expand our sphere of influence. But as Ooh. long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Isn't it reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie. So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Because I'm a good why soldier. Do you come here? And I'm bad man. Well, I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing. That's why. Eh? What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? That was... <laughs> I watched your face when you did it. It was filled with the joy of battle. You're wrong. Of There's battle. A killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created? Eh? <laughs> Story time. Les enfants terribles. The Terrible Children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was the man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. Nah, me. father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells. With a combination of 20th century analog cloning and the super baby method. Super baby method. So they super baby buggy bumpers. One of father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. So it was you and I, two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. They uh -huh. used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all of the recessive genes. You took everything from me before He's got I was gene even envy. Born. But you and I aren't his only children. What? The genome soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. But they're different. They're digital. With the completion of the Human Genome Project, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to Father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those soldier genes were transplanted into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the Genome Soldiers. <laughs> That's right. The Genome Soldiers that you've been killing are our brothers with the same genes as ours. <laughs> the Genome so, Soldiers. It was a That's big right. family fight? They are our brothers, created artificially through the alignment of nucleotides to mimic our father's genes. They too are the product of numerous sacrifices. 
Sacrifices. Human experiments. Experiments. <laughs> 1991. The Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to depleted uranium used in the anti-tank rounds. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. First they tried to say it was post-traumatic stress disorder, then chemical or biological weapons. The poison gas detection units and the anti-serin injections, they were all just a cover-up of the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so-called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are... Yes. They too are our brothers and sisters. Aww. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. We are on the verge of extinction. What? <laughs> What the? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Nature <laughs> tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. Signs of Yorkshire symmetry. Yorkshire underscore pure underscore so evil underscore I. games. As do Welcome you. to Harmac One. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. E you want Big Boss's DNA so you morning. can save your family? It's hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? In nature, Good morning. family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? It increases the chance that their genes will be passed on to a new generation. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. It's called the selfish gene One big gene happy theory. family you're reunion. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to <laughs> save the genome soldiers? This is like an overblown Jerry genes. Springer it's episode. Fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then I'm going to go beyond. I wonder how many times genes has been in said in this game so far. In order to break the curse of my heritage. Just wondering. To do that, first, I will kill you. Oh, boy. Look behind you. Near me. Meryl, I mean. Is she Meryl. alive? I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Poor girl kept calling your name. Meryl. Stupid woman. Falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No, we have no past, no future, and even I have if we a name. did, it's it wouldn't Bruce. be truly ours. You and I are just copies I think. of our father, <laughs> Big Boss. Let Meryl go. As soon as we've finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed, they've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a PDA. If you want huh. details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me. The Secretary uh. of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? Not only that. B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. B-17 bomber. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Community Don't showcase. Worry, Snake. I'll stop Welcome the to Harmac strike. One. How? I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. 
If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You better get out of Sappy there, Sappy music time. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you, after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? What are you doing? What? Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Snake the Colonel! Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Houseman. Put the Colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Anybody ridiculous. else want to punch this dude in the face? Yes, <laughs> he's a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You bastard. There won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the president would want the same thing. The president ordered this? The president is a yes. busy man. <laughs> I have complete authority here. It's like an How old Abe Lincoln explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media. Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Smart. You'll be murdering everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead. So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh, well, that's okay. Mm. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. You know, you're an embarrassment from the 1930s. I wouldn't mind, but it might cause an all-out war. Well, the bombs <laughs> will be dropping soon, and you two have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Farewell. What a, what a dick. Oh, what a dick. <laughs> There's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. You stole everything from me. <clears throat> Only your death can satisfy me. Only your death can High return scales. to me what is rightly mine. <laughs> She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Hi. Hi. Do you see <laughs> this? It will be the time limit Evil. for our final battle. This nuclear module is set to detonate at the precise moment of her death. Oh, great. If you win, you might still be able to save her. Mm. You could enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. If you cross Hi. this line, you fall. At this height, it will kill even you. Oh boy. Hi. Hi. Have at you, snake. All right, give me just a second, guys. I'll be right back. What is a man?
Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. All right. I think we're going to die on this first one, seeing as he wasted about half that a minute. That's why Europe is so jealous of our alliance. It asks like a BFF that can T join the party. <laughs> Damn it. Come here. Ow. <laughs> Damn it, I keep missing him. Damn it. We can do this. What's wrong, snake? Oh shit. How do I get up? There we go. <laughs> it's going to blow. <laughs> Well, blow me. What's wrong, snake? Better hurry. It's going to blow. Ah. Ow. Ow, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh shit, get up there. It blew up anyway. <laughs> All right. Snake. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. How about you, Snake? Boxing? I think so. Punch the wanker. I'm trying. Ow. You're out of time. Damn, he changed his tactics up a bit. Yeah, he did. He's kicking my ass now. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's a long way down. But we know he can make it on Meryl. his own. Congratulations. <laughs> Superior achievement unlocked. Meryl? Meryl Streep? Uh, 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 uh. Snake, is that you? Snake, oh, you're alive. Thank God. Meryl. Meryl, are you okay? I was so okay? worried is and that stuff. All you can say? <laughs> no. It must have been terrible. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Sad didn't give music. In to the torture. torture. Oh. And things even worse than that. I was fighting too. Just like you. You're a strong woman. Fighting them made me feel closer to you. I felt like you were there with me. It gave me the strength to go on. But She's I got the scared. DTs. Look at her shake. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't ah, PS1 graphics. Loving it. But it made me realize something. During all <laughs> the pain and shame, there was one thing I was sure of. A single hope that I held on to. And that hope kept me alive. Snake. Aww. I wanted to see you again. Meryl. Oh, Meryl. Yeah. That's my Kodak. Triangle tits. <laughs> Just like Lara Croft. Good news. Yep. Meryl's okay. All right. You saved her, man. Good job. All right, man. Got some bad news, too. Like, gnarly. bombed. Oh, boy. I guess we're considered expendable. Is there a way out of here? A way out? Uh, yeah. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No, it's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I... I'll stay here. Are you crazy? HTTPS colon slash slash clips dot twitch dot TV slash selling bad to wheelie is sooner lat ER hyphen XCRWKHY5 coffin 9W0K. This is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know. Snake, I'm a complete person now. I've found a reason to live. Good. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Meryl, okay? I will. Okay, I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. Thanks? Well, that sounds nice. I believe in you. Thanks, Snake. Oh, the bromance begins. What the begins. fuck was that? Let's get <laughs> All that here. info for a what clip? about him? Apparently. Where's Otacon? He's, he's Usually it's a lot smaller right than that, now. but for some reason, yeah, not With today. His self, to be the man he wants to be. He's fighting for us too? Yeah. And I don't want it to be in vain. Me too. <laughs> well, yours are the biggest in four states. LOL. Wow. It started. I must be heavy. Looks like we're not gonna have a love scene after all. Just your boobs. That way. Too bad. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Snake, it's freezing outside. You need some clothes. There's my sneaking suit. Hurry up! Hurry! Mm, looking good. 
good snake? Oh, keep it in your pants, lady. We've seen you in your panties already. Ooh, just in time. You're gonna make a quick save state. Actually, no. Save the game here, I think. Hurry! Oops. Nope, no response from him. Nope. Nope. Damn it, no. Uh. Snake, they've placed the Kano under arrest. I, I don't know what I should do. This will probably be your last save. I'm going to miss those proverbs of yours. Snake. Mei Ling, I have a favor to ask you. Yes? Make a hard copy of all the codec conversation data up to this point. I want some insurance. Okay, Snake, leave it to me. Escape route complete. Snake, please, be safe for me. No, I didn't want to do that. Are you hurt, Snake? Win, Snake, win! Ha! <laughs> Will do. Ration, could use it. I'll drive! Okay, you drive then. Damn, a surveillance camera! Damn, no keys! Alright, keys! <laughs> <laughs> you would think so. Not yet, Snake. Oh shit, not it's you. Not over yet. Liquid. Then what the hell? Can't tell if I'm hitting them or not. Oh, 
Now that works a little bit better. Damn you. Fucking liquid, man. The dude is just like he's 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 a god. That's all there is to it. Liquid is a god. <laughs> Holy shit. He's a god. That's all there is to it. End of story. Or do you actually die here? <laughs> Badass motherfucker. No shit, right? Meryl. Meryl. Are you okay? Yeah, just a little shook up. Just have a jeep Meryl, on me, that's move? all. Uh, uh, it's no good. I can't move. What happened to Liquid? I can't see him either. Liquid's dead. Uh-oh. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> if oh. he's dead, that means you're next, Snake. Don't say it, Snake. What happened to the air raid? No air stealth raid. bombers in sight. Hey, the codex working again. Snake, can you hear me? Snake, Colonel, are you okay? Colonel, what uh -huh. happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Early retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. What a acting douche. alone? In what a small to the pecker. Air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F 117s and the B 2 Spirits have returned to the base. Once again. I have complete authority over this operation. Or so you I think. See. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. <laughs> you don't know Washington very well. That. <laughs> In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. <laughs> Colonel, you can rest easy. Meryl's fine. Really? Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Snake. Snake, I'm sorry. I, I kept a lot of things from you. Jerk. It's okay, Colonel. Snake. I'm Snake. not a Colonel. <laughs> well, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expect you to come home alive. Me neither. I better Because they my love snakes so much. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay, Roy. Roy. Are you gonna be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all Mei Ling's data. Nice. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Oh, but Don't we Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. 
Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I heard about my brother. I'm sorry. But he had one last message he wanted to say to you. He told me to tell you it's to forget music. about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. <laughs> Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. And his body. Maybe, maybe now he's finally found some peace. He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. <laughs> a ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I gonna go? That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time is up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Thanks for that non-answer. Live, Snake. It's all I can say to you. Basically, you're saying you don't know. Is she crying or having an orgasm? Yes. <laughs> I'll go with yes. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code. It's unchangeable, immutable. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was. Where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it governs a person's potential strengths, potential destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose God. the type of if life. I had a dollar for every live. time they said genes in this game, I probably wouldn't have to work for a living. Snake, whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Live. What do you think, Snake. Don't worry. I'm going to choose life too. <laughs> Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from here on, I'm going to just live. Forever. Endeavor. Endeavor. Genes exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to the future. That's how all life works. Loving each other, teaching each other. That's how we can change the world. I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Sure, arms aren't cold or anything. Thank you, Snake. <laughs> Pardon me. Look, I found this. Let's keep it as a reminder. Of what? A reminder of a successful mission? Or the first time we met? A reminder of how to live. Huh? Until today, I've lived only for myself. Survival has been the only thing I cared about in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. 
Maybe it's written into my genes. Damn. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? She wants he wants you in them. <laughs> Sorry. For someone else. <laughs> someone else? Mm. Yeah. Someone like you. Maybe that's the real way to live. Maybe. So, where to, Snake? David. My name's David. Okay. So where to, Dave? Not Dave. Hmm. David, damn it. Weren't you hearing me? I think it's time we look for a new path in life. A new path? A new purpose. Will we find it? We'll find it. It's the second star on the right. I know until we'll morning. find it. What are those? Caribou. Caribou? The, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us too. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. I've lived here a long time. But Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, and most of all, you. Aww. I think I'm gonna like this new life. Come on. Let's enjoy life. Yay! Cool, the... Wow, that's awesome, the snow... <laughs> the snowmobile sounds like a motorcycle. <laughs> Enjoy life. In the 1980s, there were more than 60,000 nuclear warheads in the world at all times. Total destructive power mounted to one million times that of Hiroshima bomb. In 93, START 2 was signed, and the United States and Russia agreed to reduce the number of deployed strategic warheads to 3,000. However, as of 98, there still exist 26,000 nuclear warheads in the world. Yay! <laughs> Safety in numbers. Gotta love that shit. Happy ending and all. <laughs> Gotta love that shit. <laughs> I think we're gonna have the credit roll here, and if it's any like any other... Uh, Yep, we got our cast. If uh, you really think about it at the end of it all, it's going to be kind of funny. There's always a speech at the end. <laughs> Julie Moore was the computer voice. We got the staff. Hideo Kojima, hell yeah. Or Hideo Kojima, however you want to say his name. All in all, still a great game. Well, we've played then on this channel, uh... God, man, we've played... Wow, Hiro Kojima was everything. God. Uh... Well, we've played, uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4 on this channel. Uh, on Tuesday... Yes, that's right, there will be no show on m Monday. I'll be coming back from Ohio that day. Uh, but on Tuesday we'll be starting the GameCube version. Of this game, which is uh, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. Uh, we'll see how that is, and then I'll give you my critique on which one I liked better. Right now, I really liked this one. I thought it was done very well. Thought the story kicked ass. Like always, though. Uh, <laughs> that's all I can tell you there. Oh, pretty pictures, man. Very nice. Hey, it's a polar bear itching his butt or something. Nice. <laughs> Very pretty song. Damn. Very nice. <laughs> you gotta love the quality they tried to put for video on a on a CD instead of a DVD. <laughs> well, there wasn't really couldn't do DVDs yet. That was until PS2. Um, but yeah, so we'll be playing uh, GameCube version next. Um, that'll be on Tuesday, so make sure you tune in for that. We're gonna obviously, I know it's got. From what I've heard people say, it plays a lot more like MGS2. Um, the graphics are better. 
but people, some people bitch about, I guess the music is different and some of the voice actors are different. So they're not thrilled about that. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't know if that would make or break it for me. So I'm going to give it a shot and see what I like. Uh, and you'll get my opinion. Now remember, opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one, but I'm entitled to my opinion. So, um, yeah. All I can say is, if you're like me and have been buried under a rock for a long time and haven't played this, definitely play it. It's definitely a good game. It's a lot of fun. Um, definitely the controls take some getting used to, but we did it. We, we got her done, and I'm proud of that. Uh... To be perfectly honest, when I was told to try, uh, I think it was MGS2 was my first game, um, I didn't think I was going to like it. I was wrong. <laughs> and Don T be too loquacious about it. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> no, I, when it comes to what, what I might take is, I'll, I'll actually be honest, I'm not going to have any bias. Um, I'm just curious to see because I mean like I said a lot of people say that certain voice actors aren't the same so like I guess uh, um, what's her name the, the Russian chick doesn't sound Russian anymore the uh, Chinese chick doesn't sound Chinese anymore um, and I guess some people are not thrilled that the music was changed a bit uh, but I don't know I, I don't think uh, I don't think that would break a game for me though I mean you know they did what they could with what they had and I think you know why not a fiddle wow there's a fiddle uh huh. um but yeah so I like I said I, I don't know I, I can't I can't see uh obviously in a remake it's not going to be exactly the same or uh, or not a remake I guess but like well, no, I guess it is a remake. I mean, the voice actors literally came back to do it again. So I would, I would have to say, in a remake, you can't expect it to be exactly the same. It's just, it's not going to happen. So, I mean, I'll probably take that into account. You know, I mean, but I do know how some people, you know, when they grew up with this game, they loved it. And when that remaster came out, they weren't thrilled with it because it was somewhat different. But that doesn't, just because it's different doesn't mean that it's bad. Directed by Hideo Kojima. 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 Hello. Konami. Who basically aren't going to make video games anymore. They're busy in the cell phone market making cell phone games. Yay! Because, you know. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate. To be ruled by oh, your Oh, he's deeds. mushing. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. The important thing is that you choose life. Life. And then live. Will do. I will definitely do so. Metal Gear Solid. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Those two are still alive. The Vector? Yes, sir. Fox dies. Beer Come and women. Right <laughs> on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, sir. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Nice ocelot. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity, but he's been disposed of. Yes, the inferior one was the winner after all. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Oh, so I was the inferior one. Yes, sir. I agree completely. It takes a well-bounced individual such as yourself to rule the world. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one. Solidus. Why does the president what sound like Beaker? <laughs> yes, sir. The Our president sir, was Solidus? Man. No shit. Mr. President. Damn. Damn. 
Ah, uh, that was pretty cool. What an ending. Nice. And we got uh, Komodo Dragon. I don't know how good that is. Uh, we played for 10 hours, 42 minutes. We saved 17 times, continued 27. We got found 31 times. We killed 99 enemies. Damn, almost 100. Uh, rations, we used 57. So, code name Kom Komodo Dragon. Special items, camera and bandana. Nice. Save complete emission data. Yes. Yes. Dock. Complete. All right. All right, well. That looks like it's about it. Wow. That was an actual good game, man. I'm not going to lie. Very nice. Minion well. 619. Welcome to Harmath 1. All right. Oh, we're going to get the music to stop here, so just give me a second. There we go. All right, well, that is about well, it for me tonight, 15 then. 15 minutes and... left. Now what? <laughs> no, we're going to just call it a night tonight right now. I got to drive up to Ohio tomorrow, so I'm going to get to bed kind of early. Unfortunately, I have to work tomorrow, too, so a little extra sleep ain't going to kill you because <laughs> I, I have no idea what the weather's going to be like driving there. It, it could really suck. Um... But I can tell you guys right now, if you haven't played this game like I myself, because <laughs> I was under a rock for so many years, uh, definitely play it. It's a lot of fun. We've gone through 1, 2, 3, and 4 here. Uh, we will be playing the Nintendo GameCube's version, Twin Snakes, on Tuesday. Uh, there will be no show Monday, as I'll be coming back from uh, Ohio that day. So I'm definitely not going to be <laughs> in any sorts to play anything. I'm going to be exhausted. Um... So make sure you're here on Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern, or I'm sorry, 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 Central, for Metal Gear Solid Twin with Snakes. With a hangover. Not necessarily with a hangover, just tired. I mean, that, it's a six-hour trip, dude, and you're driving in some crap weather because it's winter. So, you know, it kind of takes its toll on you mentally. Not really physically, but mentally, yeah. I, I'd just be no good streaming that day. Um, But... uh. Yeah, we'll be doing the Twin Snakes version. Um, my reason for doing so, like I said, is I saw online, I didn't know which one to start with. Well, you be safe. I'm going to die. I, I want to be, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I just figured, you know, uh, I saw people online, some people online were saying, oh, you should play, you know, the PSX version, man. It's the best one, man. Then you had other people going, well, they disagree. The graphics, obviously, are better on the GameCube. Then people were saying, yeah, but the music's different. The voice actors, are no, they don't sound like they used to and blah, blah, blah. So I'm, I'm kind of figured, you know what? These aren't long games. These are earlier PlayStation games. So they weren't known for being like hours and hours and hours. I mean, unless, unless you know, you're playing something like, you know, Final Fantasy, which is like a four disc, like, like Final Fantasy VIII, for example, which is like a four disc uh, run. Yeah, that's a long game. This is a two disc. It wasn't bad. 10 hours, a little over 10 hours it took to complete, or a little more than that. Um, and so I figured, you know what, we're going we're gonna to play both versions, and then I'm going to give you my critique on it and tell you what I think of it. I think I'm going to like them both, um, but it may just come down to graphics, because, I mean, I know that the majority of the voice actors are in the new one. I do know they changed the music and made it more modern. Um... So I don't know. I mean, it, I'm I'm going into it really unbiased. I've never played it before, so just like this one. So I will give you an honest critique from somebody who's actually never played these two games before, and I'll give you an honest opinion, at least my honest opinion, you know, whatever. But, um, yeah, if you guys like what you saw tonight and you want to see more, please click that follow button. Uh, if you're so inclined, click that subscribe button. That helps, too. Uh, make sure you follow Slash Streams Live and Scales175. We're all in a group together. Uh, we have the Slash Streams Network. That's the, the group we're kind of under. <laughs> if you want to check out our videos on YouTube, go to SlashStreams.com slash YT. That'll bring you to our YouTube page. Click that subscribe button and check out our videos. It's up, They're updated almost daily. 
Uh, check them out. Let us know what you think, or at least give them a like. Let us know you enjoy them. Uh, comments are more than welcome. You know, uh, if you want to say, you know, you think they suck or you're doing a great job. Hey, we got thick skin. We can take it. Any type of critique we'll take, man. We, you know, we want you guys to like what you're watching. So you'll keep coming back. That's the point. Uh, you can also uh, check us out. Uh, you want to join our Discord server? It's uh, slash streams.com slash Discord. Come on over and join us. It's it's a relatively new server, so there's not much going on. But if anybody knows a bit about the stuff, you know, you can give us some pointers and stuff like that. Or, or just sit and chat. You know, we're almost always there. I've always got it going on my phone, even at work. So... You know, if somebody wants to chat, I'll know. <laughs> uh, if you want, you can also follow me on Twitter, at DJ Harmack. That way you'll know when this show, uh, Scales175 or Slash Streams Live, goes live. That's just kind of a redundant-sounding way to word that. Um, and anything else. Uh, so, once again, you guys have a great night. I'm just right now praying to God they come and get the tow truck to Take get care, the car. Take care, buddy. I <laughs> LLC you on Discord. All right, buddy. Uh, yeah, so I'm just hoping they bring a tow truck and get this damn car out of my driveway that's kind of hooked into my neighbor's house right now so I can get to work in the morning. Uh, can only hope. They may have come right now while I was playing. I have to check, but here's to hoping. So, guys, you have a great night. Have a great weekend. We will see you on Tuesday right here on Harmac 1 for Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes starting at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 Central right here on Harmac 1. Until then, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, stay warm if you're living in the Midwest or at least in the northern states. And uh, we will see you on Tuesday. Until then, guys, peace. Good night. <laughs>